with them. How are you going to plan to get up to your feet today? Well, we got uh, nine people with us. Six will pedal and uh, two to three will push. All right, okay. You're going to be a pusher or a pedaler? I'm the pedaler. I'm the driver. You're the driver? I'm the driver. This is what we call the stretch limo surrey. Uh huh. And this is your first critical mass? No, no, I've done many. Uh -huh. We've done a limo. We did a regular limo on Halloween. Uh huh. And any advice for people who are trying to start up critical mass in their own town? Uh, question car culture is the first thing to do. Uh -huh. And uh, be, you know, be aware. Be for awareness, not against anything. Just for awareness, everything follows. And so is this as much, much anti-car as it is pro-alternative uh, transportation, including bicycles? Well, for me, it's pro-alternative transportation. Yeah. I don't, I'm not against anything. Uh -huh. Because once you become aware of something, everything else is just uh -huh. garbage for Being here on a nice Memorial weekend, great time. Is there a riot coming up? I thought you guys were starting. Yeah, okay. Come on. Hey. Is there, so what's the secret plan? Secret secret All right, we just got, I just got the map. You know where you're going? You guys wrote the map. Oh, you're kidding me. See if your map matches my map. <laughs> Probably not. I don't know. I don't know. Wind peaks. Wind peaks. Wind peaks. Now, this is the peaks. This is like Antarctica with a spread throughout the city. officer from the San Francisco uh, PD who is uh, supposed to be 102 officers here on duty which is equal to Billy Clinton but the officers here today say they actually have a little more uh, faith in the local San Franciscans than they do in Billy Clinton and they enjoy this operation. Most of them are getting straight time, time and a half if they go past uh, eight hours I believe. Whatever route we do, and you're all gonna have a chance to vote. We follow these green flags. Anarchy in progress here in San Francisco. The four routes are being debated. What you see now is a bit of a fracture. Two years ago, people asked if this would, if critical mass would even exist now. Now the question is how many rights will bicyclists get back from the cars? Right now there's a debate about which route to take. Instead of the petty debates, there are some who call for a direct ride any which way, but being directed by the men in blue.
Look at this. It's quite impressive. <laughs> what yeah. would you call it? What would we call it? Yeah. I have no idea. It looks like a lot of fun, though. A lot of people and lots of bikes. <laughs> looks like a lot of cool people. Yeah. Hi. What do you think of it? <laughs> it looks pretty fun. <laughs> I'd rather be riding than standing here. What are they doing? Uh, bicycling. <laughs> yeah, sure, but what for? Just for fun or demonstration or things like that? Uh, I think it was just unison. Uh, you know, power and numbers kind of thing. In Germany, we, we make a demonstration of it, yeah, against uh, cars. driving cars, yeah. This is the first time I've seen it. What do you think of it? I thought it was pretty cool. I thought it was, uh, it was definitely something worth seeing. I think it would have been better if the if the dip bikes had been uh, grouped closer together so you could have stopped traffic and pedestrians more thoroughly. in San Francisco. Yeah, that's good. Yeah? Definitely. You don't mind waiting in a car for all the bicyclists? No, okay. Okay. Even on a Friday, no problem. Okay. You guys okay. bicycle? Yeah. All time. Yeah. To work? Yeah. Yeah? You feel safe on a bike or? Yeah. Yeah? Next car. Really. All right. Well, what do you think about the bikes? Are they crazy or is it okay? I think they are crazy. They are creating problems. Creating problems. Very hard to drive in San Francisco. Uh-huh. Yeah, so they have right away, I think. Uh huh. Cars have no value here. If I hit them, I'm in big trouble. If you hit them, you're in big trouble, yeah? Yeah, but they, if they hit me, nothing happens. One time they hit my door. Do you, uh, how many bicycles you hit so far? They hit my car. I didn't hit any, but they hit one time my door. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Uh huh. You think I should just arrest them? Not arrest them, but they, they, should, they, they should, you know, take them uh, like Golden Gate Park or something. Golden Gate Park, or get them off the road, huh? Yeah, yes. Yeah, and the roads for the cars? Yes, the roads for cars. Right. Yeah. Okay, thank you very much. What do you think about these nuts on bikes? I like it. I just want to go home. That's all. <laughs> I have a bicycle, too. Uh-huh. Do you ever bike to work? Do you ever bike to work? Yeah. yeah. I have a white man. I'm not too far. Do you feel safe or so on a bicycle in the city? No, because in the city I feel safer than there because everybody goes white dancing. They get a little drunk. I'm afraid to be up in the Napa Valley on a bicycle. Right, thank you. So you don't mind me stuck in traffic for all of uh, five or ten minutes? Yeah. Uh, five or ten minutes. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
No way. No way? Yeah. I have a passenger here to catch a 7.30 plus. Are they going to miss their plane? You think the police should be helping them? Or you think the police should be helping them like they are? Let's go, John. People wonder why, why San Francisco bicyclists come together to protest cars. This is about the only time when they feel safe. Otherwise, they're alone, vulnerable, and liable to be gored. There was a passenger on the bicycle killed by a unibus. Well, run over. Was it in the downtown area? And did they have like a memorial for him or anything? Yeah, yeah. I wonder because they do that, they do this every month. I wonder what it's about. Solidarity. You get to take on the streets, you get to like have your way with the traffic. Uh -huh. That's very nice. And how does the traffic usually have its way with you? Me personally? What happens when you are not critically surrounded by the mass? How do you feel? You're subject to the whim of the automobile. The, the, um, motorized vehicle that you're sort of an invisible commodity, expendable on the street. Has the whim of the automobile ever left you in a uh, injured position? No, actually. I got hit, I've only got hit twice. Only been hit twice? <laughs> <laughs> no, not critically, so I can't complain. You've been hit twice by cars? Well, I hit the car. I, I got hit once, coming into an intersection, I got the bike got taken out from under me, and I flew like 10 feet. What it means to be doored? So about two years ago, Chris Carlson and some friends decided to uh, organize an event to promote bicycle safety in San Francisco. The idea started with a few dozen people who would gather on Friday afternoons to disrupt traffic and show a solidarity for bicycle safety in downtown San Francisco's financial district. Two years later, the event now has 1,500, 2,000 bicyclists at a time and a phalanx of police making sure that everybody obeys everything. And what does it mean to be doored? And so dooring is this thing that happens when the, the rather absent-minded car motorist gets out of their car without thinking, and boom, they've opened their door and you slammed into it. And not long ago, somebody died in San Francisco from that happening. He just went went right through his neck. And he uh, didn't get his head severed, but he was, you know, kill, killed him. Time than everybody who's sitting in their car at that moment trying to get home on Friday night. So that's, I think of it much more, I mean, the deeper meaning of it as a political act is that it emphasizes the affirmative. And it's not just decrying, oh, cars are bad, bikes are good, that kind of thing. I, there are a lot of people who come to critical mass who have that point of view. But I don't think that's the real uh, tone of the event. And the tone of the event has, has really, we've really struggled hard to make it into a pleasure-oriented event that emphasizes the creative and enjoyable possibilities of collective action as opposed to the sacrificial and guilt-ridden possibility. All the way. Yeah. Uh, Cologne is about one million or so, and they have nearly every street has now a bike lane separated from the street. Yeah. So it's a sidewalk, you know. Completely separated on a different color. Can you say something about the city's bicycle advisory committee? I'm the chairperson. Uh huh. Well, uh, do you commute on a bicycle? Daily. Yeah. Every day. Rain or shine. And how safe do you feel on the streets of San Francisco? Not very. Considering uh, <laughs> the 
other modes of transportation, I'd say cycling is not the least safe, but it's not the most safe. Uh, partly it's circumstances beyond anyone's control, but uh, a large part of it I ascribe to poor capital planning. It was not, the city is not designed in terms of capital planning for cycling. What would you say is your vision of a bicycle-friendly San Francisco? The world I'd like to live in would be a world that had about half as many streets in it, in a, in a given urban environment. And in San Francisco, I would really like to see various types of wild corridors that involved creek restoration or perhaps even creek creation, where we put creeks in where they've never been and find ways of using moving water and uh, natural corridors for trees and native plants and bring back, you know, give places for the butterflies to reproduce that are that basically nearly completely wiped out and a number of other species of the local eco niche that once existed that are now gone. It would be nice to figure out a way to bring them back and find a way to integrate them into a, a healthy, ecologically healthy urban environment. I'm in favor of urbanity. I like city life. I like large crowds of human beings. But I think that he, large crowds of human beings need to figure out how to live uh, in a more harmonious way with nature, basically, as much as anything for their own pleasure, but also because nature demands it, and we have to figure that out. So bicycling seems to be a major, you know, you know, a serious element of that quest. It's not the answer by any means, but it's one of them, and one piece of that puzzle. There's 500,000 automobiles registered in San Francisco, and there's 240,000 parking spaces. Personally, I think that's a problem. And people will realize that they do have an alternative. This is a viable alternative to a private automobile. And how's critical mass for you all this? I think that it's done two things. It has proven that there are a lot of cyclists out there and that they are all different kinds of people. They are young, they are old, they are male, female, Asian American, Hispanic American, African American, European American, and they all ride for different reasons. But it is a great way to get around the city. I mean, critical mass grew from 50 people three years ago to, I don't know, 1,500, 1,800, 2,000. And that should tell you something. There are a lot of us out there, and this is just a tiny percentage of the number of people that have bicycles. Cars. How would you describe the police, pro, uh, the police presence, and how much do you estimate it costs the police to staff these events? I have no idea how much money they're spending. Whatever it is, it's totally ridiculous and a waste of money. They shouldn't be there at all. But they, uh, they've come, and they, they have a big problem because they understand that we don't think they have any place there, and that freaks them out. They, they hate more than anything to have their authority ignored. And uh, critical mass, to a great extent, has managed to ignore their authority, although, frankly, after two and a half years, it's becoming so institutionalized and so large that there is a cooperative relationship de facto most of the time with the police. And interestingly, there are fissures within the rank and file police, too. There are some cops who are very friendly, love bicycling, love some of the subversive literature. They always come rushing up to get their copies of it. So there's people in the department who are really truly allies. Those people, uh, there are people in the department who have it in for critical mass because it's, you know, that typical form of, of subversive culture that they recognize correctly is, an, is a threat to their notion of this mom and apple pie, narrow, red, white, and blue American uh, utopia, which is a dystopia for me and for most people that I know. But uh, the ones who identify with that kind of, of right-wing vision feel threatened and are belligerent and antagonistic with us. The ones who don't are kind of, you know, intrigued by it and feel somehow even a kinship with it. So it's, it's complicated about what their attitude is and what it means that they come. I don't think we can get rid of them with, a, with you know, it would just be, there isn't a kind of counter power existing on the streets or amongst alternative social movements at this point that we could really do away with the police, much as we might like to, they're going to be there, and we're not going to be able to get rid of them militarily. We can't shame them into not showing up, much as we might have tried to a few times. We can't ridicule them into disappearing, even though that's, we try that every time. So 
finally, it's like, well, do you want to define your event as having a fight with the cops, or do you want to ignore them and go on and have your fun time? And, and really, it's the social space and the political space that we opened up here that, that's really important. And to let uh, the irritation with the authorities and police to become the defining characteristic of our experience of the event is a choice we don't have to make. And I'm a pretty strong advocate about not making that choice. <coughs> no, wait, wait. Beautiful ride, man. What a beautiful that day, was the man. best route. That's a, you can't strip that route. No, that, that was a good route. Uh, Gr Kristen did a good job. Who wants to do it? Hold on. Twelve. Probably like Mayor Jordan did a good job. Okay. Who wants to do it again? Well, I'll tell we'll you. Do it again. I, I next, next month we'll do it. Yeah. Same route be great. Yeah, the, the you can't do it the same route. Good. You guys are all good as far as so the... How do, you, uh, how, do you, how do you keep like the crazed motorists from beating up the bicycle? Uh, they, you know, I wish we, we slice the tires. I'll tell you what it is. Yeah, it's basically... It doesn't uh, work. I'll tell you, when, you, when you're all in a group like this, uh -huh. it's easy to facilitate. We can control the motorist uh -huh. type thing, and this way you guys got safe ride. Mm -hmm. But there must be some motorists who kind of bought the radio yeah, explode. No? Uh, you know, what can you do? I'll just ride The police are there, and, you know. There's, there's some board cops. But it's a little bike ride than there is for when Billy Clinton comes to town. <laughs> Any comments on the 102 police officers who are here to help us today? Well, most of them are on bikes. That's great. <laughs> Glad to see that. And uh, fine, fine, the more the merrier. What's this so for? What is it? Critical mass. Huh? Wonderful. What's it for? When the bicyclists take back the streets. Oh, You're yeah. kidding. I love it. Yeah. How come so many police? We're with they the think other. they own the street, too. Because they're getting overtime for this detail. Oh, I see. Okay, wonderful. So the 126 police officers guarding the bicyclists. I see that. That's wonderful. That's better, though, because if they didn't have the police, we'd be in trouble, right? right? With 3,000 of us? No, I mean, a car, some cars get wild and they will get mad and. Somebody might get hit. Better the police are there than not there. Ready? Yeah. I keep a close watch on this bike of mine. It's red with Kelvin tires and a bell that chimes. To keep you safe, I've got a kryptonite that binds. Because you're mine, I ride the line. I find it very, very hard to ride the road. I once broke my jaw on a Soma pothole. I kiss the pavement, but my wheels are ever true. Because you're mine, I ride the line. You oh, there's a car. As sure as San Francisco's got a hill or three. Car drivers run red lights and skid across the street. I'm never bored as I've been doored a dozen times. Because you're mine, I ride the line. You've got a way of saddling up against my ass. You get jealous when we ride in critical mass. My hair's the sail and your down tube is the mass. Because you're mine, I ride the lines. Last verse. These lines I ride by are the Morse code of the times. These lines above are muni web which cut sunshine. These lines I write from open trails inside my mind. Because you're mine, I ride the lines. Okay, all right, we're done. That is the annual critical mass, San Francisco to New York City. They'll be arriving in New York in about 10 days, and they will be having, they will be having a championship race across the Brooklyn Bridge next Wednesday. Over and out.